Hey guys, it's Tom, and I am in Gillsburg, Mississippi, and I'm on my way back from a friend's house in Jackson, Walter, and I'm going to be flying out of New Orleans, going back to uh, Fort Lauderdale, my home, and I just thought I'd stop out here at the Leonard Skinner Monument in the crash site. The GPS says I got... 0.4 miles to go and I've never been here before I believe this monument's only been here cattle crossing um, I believe this monument's only been here about two years now the next stop sign turn right turn right at stop sign okay man it is country out here and as you can see I pick one foggy day to be out here but um really wanted to see this so let's see it says we got 900 feet and this is rural there's a bunch of goats there's some cattle over here and oh there's those man it is so foggy out I'm sorry for that but those looks like those Chicken at the stop coops. sign, turn right onto Easley Road, then arrive at your destination. Okay, there are a ton of videos on this. There's a little cemetery. A ton of videos on finding the crash site. Why well, this be pretty on a sunny day? It's early in the morning, guys. It's uh, just arrive. turned. Arrive at the Skinner crash site. It's got me in the right place. You know, actually, I believe this is the actual crash site off of the woods. But there is a monument around here. So let's find... Oh, the monument's, I think, straight up ahead. It says we've arrived, but you know how... how uh, GPS's are. This is it. This is it. All right, let's check this out. In fact, before we get out, I'm just gonna go take a look over here because I believe I did a lot of research. There's lots of YouTube videos. Thank you for visiting. Drive carefully. I believe the actual crash site. It's on the other side of this field, which you cannot see now because it's so foggy. Today is December 5th, December uh, 5th, 2021. And, oh, here we go. Leonard Skinner Monument ahead. Okay. So it happened on the other side of that field over there, but let's check this out. I apologize that it's a foggy day, but go back and forth to Mississippi a lot, so we'll check this out on a sunny day. Let's see what this looks like. Needs more? Being voted. Alright, let's check this out. Man, it sure smells like a cow field. Looks like they've had something going on over here with that pop-up tent. 7364 Easley Road. Lots of tall oaks and pines. Of course, I'm the only one out here at 7 a.m. And I've been to the uh, the Hell House, too, which is over in Tallahassee. I've got a really good video of that. I found that. But all this you can see on the Internet if you want to read this in complete detail. I just thought you might get a kick out of seeing this while I'm here. I want to say very cool course it's very cool 
Not so cool what happened here. But I remember the day that this accident happened. I was at work and I was uh, working in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And I was at a, uh, a diesel fuel injection shop where I worked. And I remember hearing on the news that they, uh, they announced the plane had crashed. And that was in 1977, that day at work. Yeah, if you've never been here before, and you're a Skinner fan, it's definitely a place you'd want to stop. see what's over here. I'm thinking that's maybe the owners of the farm, I guess. Let's get our monument Wi-Fi. Okay. Interesting. Here's a donation box. Guest book inside the door. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, there is a guest book. Okay, cool. I'll have to sign that and put some money in there. Obviously, they must have folks that maybe sit here and tell stories from time to time. I don't know. Very interesting. A little cigarette disposal thing. Well, that's the Leonard Skinner Monument. The actual crash site is on the other side of this field in a grove of trees. And there's lots of drone videos on YouTube that if you go and you check it out, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to see exactly where the crash site was. I think that's a little Wi-Fi tower. Looks like a wireless access point. So anyway, thought you'd get a kick out of seeing that. Just want to see what this sign over here says. Yeah, you ever see a Sasquatch riding in a go-kart? That's basically, basically what my rental car situation is today. Okay, keep off the grass and embankment. Use the stairs. So apparently it looks like the owner of this farm dedicated this piece of real estate here, fenced it off, and declared it a monument place. Very nice. Very nice, very foggy. I'll come back on another day when I can get some sunshine and recapture this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Over and out.